this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. All right, you guys, I'm going to do a collective love reading. And I'm going to start doing these daily for you. They are for all signs. So if you clicked on this video, this may be something you need to hear. Um, all right, you guys, let's get started. So the first two cards that fell out, the Queen of Cups and the Moon. So that's Piscean energy. Um, someone, someone here with very hidden emotions, deep, deep emotions, someone easily wounded. This could be somebody who works in the beauty industry. Okay. Uh, could be a psychic, a daydreamer, um, showing up in a very feminine energy. I feel like there is some deep, hidden love, emotions, a lot of anxiety and fear connected to this, or whoever this could be you. This could be someone that you're connecting with. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could be a Libra, okay? Um, someone here very easily wounded, maybe shy. Very, very attractive type of a person, but um, vague. Not doesn't say too much. Very vague. Um, lives in the subconscious. Okay, maybe a bit insecure at times, emotionally insecure, and seeks security. Maybe love avoidant could be somebody who you're, who's love avoidant refuses love, refuses love offers, misses love opportunities, stagnates, thinks too much, overthinks, focuses mostly on the negative, very self-absorbed. Maybe suffers from depression or boredom. There's an energy of re of remorse. Someone's very withdrawn here and with a lot of regret. It's becoming absolutely like apathetic or indifferent towards love, which is not a natural state for this person. I feel a natural state for this person is someone who's very loving and warm and sensitive, but there's something, there's some hidden, maybe some lies or deception or something that's hidden that this person is like, no, someone is sensing, um, they're sensing fear, kind of like a dog or an animal can sense fear in a person and backing away, sensing fear and backing away. Okay. So two of pentacles in the reverse, hmm, lack of balance very unstable trying to get emotionally balanced but showing up here um, very unstable okay things don't feel right something isn't feeling right um capricorn perhaps capricorn for some something feels off something doesn't feel right tell me more spirit what is this message what are these energies? Um, I'm just hearing someone doesn't want, you know, the saying, what comes around goes around. Someone's like, no, it's, I don't want this thing to come around and go around. It, it's, there's, there's fear. There's a lot of fear. Backing away. Wow. Okay. You know, but there's a spark still. <laughs> there's still a spark. There's attraction, there's growth, there's potential, but something is happening where someone is feeling very like intuitively sensing 
they're afraid somebody's afraid of love or afraid they know this is an opportunity a good one and this might have come to them quite a few times this opportunity for love and they kept pulling away but it's mostly out of out of fear out of terror out of in insecurity or a fear of being lied to or deceived but there's good news coming here what's going on okay charity and giving hmm so I get a sense there's going to be um, either some gifts or some type of an offer that's given. Um, hold on. So some type of a gift here you may be receiving. Um, some of you are going to get a plant. <laughs> Receive some type of a plant. Plant. A gift of like a flower or a plant. Um, someone's offering to you. Let me see here. I don't know if maybe you do something with plants or flowers or you just really love them um, but there's definitely a gift let me see oh okay Knight of cups in the reverse okay um, so Somebody's having regret for cheating or breaking your heart or lying or treating you like a one night stand kind of situation or delaying for delaying love. I feel like somebody here, whoever you were or whoever you're connecting with, this person has a great fear. It might be an avoidant type of lover. This person struggles when love is offered to them. They often refuse. They miss opportunities to have amazing, beautiful connection, love, a lot of stagnation with this person. They always think, oh, it's not going to work out. This isn't going to last. That kind of energy. But I feel like this person... Um, you know, you could be a water sign yourself, but I feel like this person um, is regretting saying no. And it feels like there's going to be an outpouring of giving because of this, some type of delay or unrequited love situation. All right, so... The energies I'm picking up here are Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, picking up Taurus, picking up Aries, Sagittarius, a Leo, let me see, okay, wow, Hierophant in reverse, yeah, with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. There's also, um, I feel like this person is going to be reaching out to you, but it's not going to be like a declaration of love or anything like that. I feel like it's going to be more along the lines of um, giving some kindness or sharing or connecting, um, offering something to you like a gift, um, something very small, little bits and pieces to because it sits here as a potential to have growth. I feel like somebody here wants to see if there's an opportunity, if the opportunity will still be available to try to make something happen here. Now with the higher font in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person rebelled. They just were non-conformative when it came to, it's not even just about love, but the structure and the foundation of, the, of a relationship in general. Um, Anti-marriage perhaps lives an unconventional might be someone who is like forever bachelor bachelorette non-committal okay and um they're just giving me reversed roles um you maybe you were like that with this person and then the roles switched 
and you know maybe they were chasing after you and then you were like no 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 and then they stopped and then you chased after them and they said no 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 like you role reversal it's strange but i feel like that's what this is coming from here so what does that mean it feels like you're the one now who's been saying no or you're just in this forget it position and now this person is kind of coming back in here how does this person feel about you what are their what are their energies okay this one to flip out okay nine of pentacles in reverse huh well that's interesting they think that you need them they think that you can't live without them <laughs> That you're dependent on them that's interesting why do they think that okay they they have this feeling like you maybe the, maybe you maybe it's both of you maybe you feel like your lives are incomplete without each other um they feel about you that at least they feel that their life is incomplete without you okay they feel a loss they're definitely bored with whomever they might be communicating with or engaging with um not necessarily bored but like it's different it's not the same as with you and i feel like this person if they are communicating with other people really refusing their offers so let me see here now that's we have virgo showing up here probably going to wind up saying all the signs at some point if i haven't already okay wow this person i have to say like they feel at least the way where they're coming from is very insecure and maybe that's why they feel like you need them but they might be projecting for some of you to some degree that you can't live without them but it's really them who feels that way because the king of pentacles in the reverse well there's your sign <laughs> the king of pentacles in the reverse is someone who's just not successful they're not grounded maybe even a little corrupt at times you know um failing in business failing in being stable um and that's why the two of pentacles in the reverse is here because this person lacks balance you know they they struggle with their financial decisions even they make maybe spontaneous financial decisions that you know falter things that don't stand the test of time their investments they invest poorly but they also think that if you are connecting with others that you um are investing poorly and you should be investing in them okay so this person is returning they're losing momentum in their life they're returning they've been away either on holiday or travel or somewhere um i feel like they feel it was bad timing why you two didn't connect they're they're looking at something as if it was just bad timing perhaps and that's why something didn't move forward okay hold on you guys so i'm not sure if that's the case or not but that's what they're telling themselves that they weren't ready they're not stable they weren't ready to come forward and rather than telling you that they don't have themselves together or that they are very um maybe even codependent 
unstable, uh, lacking security, or that they're reckless, which is the truth. They're just saying it's it was just bad timing why things didn't work out okay um hmm. yeah four of wands in the reverse okay yeah postponed canceled any kind of reunion that you might have had and you know the four of wands in the upright is structure foundation reverse like this person you know but as far as you go, they, they're projecting, they're projecting that you maybe, f and they're hoping also that you're unable to live without them or that you need them, even though they know they've had nothing to give you. Or, and I don't necessarily mean financial things but just to be a stable partner for you it's why they rejected love or commitment or anything along those lines now we have yeah this person is just they have a lot of regret and remorse for putting all that aside and just saying you know this is where i am in my life are you sure you want to be with me you know this person lacks self-worth they have a lot of regret, maybe some trauma, emotional instability. And something happened with this person to because I don't know that they've been that way before, maybe before this relationship or before something in their life, maybe some trauma, something happened, maybe they got triggered. Okay. Yeah, discontentment, apathy, disinterest negative patterns, detachment. This person's stuck in like a trauma-induced response. Um, are they healing from this? What is going on? Um, they might even be reaching back out to you because of trauma, because they can't let go of you. Tremendously dependent upon you and hoping that you will take them or, um, you know, connect or allow them to come back in, okay? Well, they are coming back. They are, they're coming towards you. I will tell you that much. Aquarius energy here. Um, they're coming towards you. Definitely. They're ready to, they want to seize some type of thing with you here. Seize the moment. I mean, now they're, now they're rebelling, but see, they're still rebelling. Okay. Because before they were rebelling against, you know, a conventional relationship. Now they're rebelling against that and coming toward you this person kind of lives their life like like a rebel i guess i keep getting messages and it's almost like it's a sign it, it's like um they live their life like a rebel so they're definitely heading in your direction yep taking this journey coming towards you they've reached a lim limit doing a little self-analysis okay that's fine looking deeper into things you know hmm. learning studying growing hard work commitment that's what they're looking into so it it feels good it feels good i mean i feel like this person is you know coming towards you out of a sense of loss and trauma perhaps but at the same time they're also open to connecting and learning about you and trying to make something you know go forward here let me see what the love messages are okay okay this person's definitely afraid to contact you but they're trying to become a better person. I don't think they want you to know that because there might be a level of shame. They remember every detail of some day that you guys were together. And they have a lot of regret lying to you about some things. Oh, okay. You speak to them through music. Perhaps there's music or songs. Maybe you write them or sing them. 
or songs you've shared together. Okay, yeah, just being near you is intoxicating. I feel like this person... Mm, I mean, we got to take that with a grain of salt, but I feel like this remembering every detail of some day, how intoxicating that time was together, but they just, you know, I don't want to say just as in to justify, but I feel like this person really has a hard time or some type of trauma with um, connecting emotionally, like on a deep emotional level. They have a lot of fear. Um maybe some abandonment issues, anxiety, or they avoid uh, getting too close. This person loves you unconditionally, though. Okay. The relationship is moving towards a sacred union. You know, could be marriage or whatever would be sacred, partnership. I feel like this person, you know, is wanting to give something another try or give it a chance to make something work. I mean, they're coming in pretty quick swiftly with that knight of swords um they're going to come in quickly but then they're going to tiptoe a little bit to see if you'll receive them or if you want to try again i don't oh my gosh twin flame yeah i don't know if this connection you know when the knight of cups the hierophant being here just in and of itself is a good sign they're just reverse which means there's like challenge delay that kind of thing um there could have been some emotional manipulation as well attached to this connection twin flame stories two, two people in twin flame connections they're difficult because you trigger each other's traumas and pains and things that may have happened and and if we're not open to the growth of that and looking at those dark parts of ourselves and you know resolving them within ourselves we can never ascend and we will just lock them up lock and key deny them ignore them avoid and just cycle through relationships on and on until we find someone who doesn't trigger those things some people are some people don't have the capacity for self-reflection. Some people don't have the capacity to say, hey, this is triggering me. What's going on with me? Some people are like, no, it's not me, it's you. And then they leave. But it, you know, it takes two hands to clap. So everybody's got triggers. Let me say one more, please. One more for the road. Okay. There's a new love, a recommitment to love is developing. Okay. It looks to me like this person is capable of self-reflecting. Um, maybe now. They might not have been before, but maybe now they are getting into this position of, let me see, just one more time. I, they sense that you don't want to let them go, even if you do. Or even if you have, they sense that you don't want to let them go, but they also sense that well, they know that they don't want to let you go, okay? Which, you know, no matter how anybody feels, we all have our free will and we all can make our own decisions. All right, let me get a couple of charms for you. Okay, so we have a horse. Okay, maybe somebody has a horse or is on a horse or owns a horse farm. Okay, um, does the racetrack. Does something, breeder, I don't know what, um, something with horses. Okay, connected to someone. Um, we also have a, a white bow tie with a diamond. So this, I feel like this is going to be some type of a gift. Either you're going to receive or you'll be giving to somebody with a white bow tie and maybe some shiny bling or some bling bling on it. Um, somebody's going to be getting a kitten or is giving someone a kitten with a little white bow tie on it. Okay. <laughs> As a gift. <laughs> I hope you're not allergic. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. Or um, it might be, it might not be a real kitten. It could be just like a little toy kitten stuffed toy. 
and also we have a cherub here so i feel like <laughs> this is a little bit of a this is a little cupid a cherub cupid um with somebody coming in here now i want to give you some dates um Give me a second. I just want to look and see what dates I can give you. Somebody might be showing up here August 18th. The 12th. August 5th. These might also be birth dates. Doesn't have to be August, but as far as somebody showing up here, these are the days. Um, Yes, and for others, your birthday could be on the 5th, the 12th, the 18th. Um, let me just get a couple of more here. Okay. So we have Sagittarius. We have Taurus. Okay, we have Scorpio, Capricorn. All right, and so let me give you some birth dates um, let's see. Okay, somebody's birthday is on the 3rd, the 4th, the 9th, the 10th, the 7th. Um, somebody might be 37. Somebody's area code is 410. Uh, somebody's born 67. Um, somebody's birthday is September 11th. And we also have 910. We have the age 43, 49. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave those messages there for you guys. I hope that you enjoy this. This is collective reading. Um, I was going to pull cards for each sign, but I want to see how you guys do with this this far. Um, and then if we need to go into more, I will do that. Um, but I will be here every day. So please tune in to get a collective message for you each day. All right, you guys, I will speak to you very soon. Take care.